ອ່າອັນນີ້ຈ້າຄືຊິເປີ້ວິດີໂອຊົມໃຫ້ຂ້ອຍຫນຶ່ງຄືຢູ່ປະມິດຈ້າມີຈ້າຕາມຈ້າ
the value of today because money tomorrow is less valuable than money today in the case of positive interest rates so um, cash flow uh, that is coming in a year's time so we discount it by one plus r okay and um uh, and then we have um uh, uh, here we have um the next one is we um we de divided by one plus r to the power two okay and, okay so uh you you you, you maybe you can focus okay. on this later on then okay so this is one plus r to the power of three okay and this is one plus r <laughs> The power of I don't know why the, the letter is in inverse, you see. Okay, um, the chinakan thing stop when men chit yeah, this is a present value of a bond. I was uh, talking about um, that when you want to analyze a stock or a company, mm -hmm. it's pretty similar than analyzing a bond. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, uh, what you do is uh, we analyze companies with positive cash flows. Okay, okay. I said we want okay. to have we buy, want to buy stocks ah, okay. with uh, positive, with mm -hmm. good cash flows. Mm -hmm. And there are some companies, you know, they always generate a nice uh, uh, return, a right, nice profit every year. They pay a nice dividend every year. Mm -hmm. So um, and then, of course, you can. Uh, uh, calculate you know the expected cash flows and mm -hmm. from that the principle is very similar how you discount uh, a bond or a fixed income security mm -hmm. where you know already for sure what the cash flows will be okay that's the difference between a bond and a stock okay a stock you know or a company you don't know what next year's profit will be or the year after next mm -hmm. you rely on the analysts they make their estimates they they think how the economy will do and how this company will do and how their market position will be and so mm -hmm. on. There are a lot of imponderabilia in this equation, but um, of course, uh, but still they come to uh, some sort of a model where they can, you know, somehow calculate what the, the company's profit will be in a year's time or in two years from now. Um, okay, but when you have some sort of these, you know, simple cash flow stocks, they have they make always the same profits, slightly growing, like the, the, the Nestle's and Procter and & Gamble's and so on, and some pharmaceutical companies, okay, mm -hmm. like Roche or so. Okay, uh, I, I want they, to cancel it. They, yeah, yeah just, I'm just ready. Then, of course, it's easier to, to uh, discount because then you can use kind of a, a, a simple um, cash flow, discounted cash flow model as you use it for the evaluation of bonds or fixed income securities. Okay, okay I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm stopping now so you have enough time to translate. Yeah. Um, can you 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 can ຈັ່ງຈັ່ງການວິພິດນັ້ນຄືວິພິດຕະເລບອນ <laughs> With a bond, you know the cash flows as we have them here, you know them for sure. Mm -hmm. Because the cash flow with a bond is the coupon, okay? okay. That's the coupon you receive in year one, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's always the, uh, the year one, okay? And that is the coupon, uh, this CF2 is the coupon in year two, mm -hmm. okay? Coupon three. Okay, so Let the... me just finish okay. quick. And then here, the last one, the final cash flow of a bond is the last coupon you're going to receive plus the payback of the principal of the bond you paid in the beginning <laughs> okay so this is going to be coupon n mm -hmm. for the time n i don't know how many periods there are in between okay mm -hmm. because we have many in between mm -hmm. and plus principal mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and that is usually 100, 100 units, 100 dollars per mm -hmm. unit and then you receive a coupon of say 5%. So if the coupon is 5% and you receive back the principal, it's as an example, it's 105 in the end, okay? Okay. One of five equals one hundred. Okay. 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 It's a the method of analyzing the cash flow of a bond, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very similar to analyze the cash flow of a company. Okay, okay. yeah. So, you method to repeat the cash flow of the company. You bond to repeat the cash flow of the company. Exactly. Okay. okay. So, you have to repeat the cash flow of the company. Exactly. Okay. So, ตัวนักลงทุนมวยนั้นตัวตาวิอาจดอลในเพียบจบเจดอยังกำหนดนั้นตัวยังวิเพียบปีลมโฮตักประนักลงทุนของนักสันและสวามิคิมปราเมโต
Sebastian, one and five. Uh, you this is the number that you give as the example as the cash flow year one, right? Yeah. Uh, no, one, five is cash flow year one. Mm -hmm. Year ah. end cash flow is one hundred plus five is hundred five. Ah, okay, that okay. Is here, yeah. okay. Some top right, but yeah. Young cash flow, chnam ti moi na nga long hold sat prachnam ti moi na kus ma pram. Is a kus ma pram. Young uti hold tha an. Okay. Uh, n n n n minus one equal five. It's, no, n minus one is still five. It's okay. the cash flow ah, always okay. five percent, and the last cash flow, the n it comes after n minus one. So you one. mean that uh, one hundred time in this case? So whatever n n is a number, any number you you can take. Okay, can be twenty, can be ah, hundred, can okay, be two hundred. Okay. okay. So yeah. all right. Just one day, cash flow year one, the whole year the other one, that means the last mark here. Yeah. Mean the lay a pram pram la hot, hanging bog the lake, lake, make lake maroida. What one hundred number one hundred is what? One hundred is uh, one hundred, as I said before, I was explaining. Yeah, it's this a, is the principle. You know, you, you invest one hundred into a, a bond when you buy a bond, uh -huh. and in the end, you get yeah. one hundred back plus the last coupon. Ah, okay. yeah. ว่าอึ้งมรอยดอลลาร์นั้นคืออุทิหารถ้าอึ้งอินเวสต์จำนวนมรอยดอลลาร์จ้ะลอยได้อึ้งอินเวสต์จ้ะก็อึ้งอึ
đại dương lưu cái tha anh đi lo nu lo tê cứ tên đời xa dương che vị phe từ lửa cha lùm hô sạch bạc được bọc không phải cứ bên đây tha không phải nên trơ tay chấm đại nhau hóa chăm bờ sân chia khát ưu tiên ho còn dễ thắc khát mà chăm one million right lost of the company yeah there was only an example okay so vật ưu tiên ho ấy cha bờ vật chăm khát mà liên đọc chăm khát đọc liên chẳng đọc chăm cứ cầm hôn nước thật sai thôn này mà đòn ở đây chăm hay quạt ao quạt năng prap đồng nạc ca bằng to tiết cư độ biệt vì phía từ lớn cho cái hào tha um, financial sheet mình này tha ai cái xa đại dương ai từ tuộc bán tam là dạng um, tên này tam internet á hai do màu vì phía nó không nông excel cho dương nâng ai đang ngọng phí uh, chồng nâu dương ai vì phía ông phí thả tá cơm hôn nâng trả lời thêm bạn một chồng bình dương nâng ai vì phía thả tá cơm hôn nâng ai uh, miên chồng bạ chồng nánh và to và to khi rưu cơ ọt cho đối với các tiểu cho ai cả xa rồi mới bắt thay em tiếp nhưng mà tôi nói các tiểu nào đấy, tại ở trong rùa bổn này cứ chơi rùa bổn đại là cái hai thà principal đại vì chơi chụp bắp muối chơi lại cả nạn coca với coca ở coca cứ được cô quan đồng bốn đại nơi trong ca bị phe từ lơ pv sẽ có ai phần còn present value present chả present value present value chắc là bây giờ nếu present value nó cứ dùng cho cash flow năm tỷ muối chạy năng chả muối bột năng cá prát hậu tiệt ho cash flow năm tỷ muối nó còn hậu tiệt ho smart pram chả smart pram chẳng vì pram 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 rồi rồi hóa chức năng đầu pe ở trong khối kế cứ dùng vô dùng ai chả prát để dùng rồi nó cứ prát bao dùng principal what is the principal say bao nhiêu principal is what you have invested at the beginning yeah chẳng mười nó cứ chia đầm lấy để invest bị từ bồn cứ xem ai đâu mười rồi là chả chắc đầu pe dương từ tour bán cứ dùng bán mười bột pram chả bột pram lướt prạ để dương invest lướt từ bồn nè chẳng hay dương dương cho prạ nó chay từ nó muối bột e là hỗ trợ ăn ăn nó cứ xoay quần xoay quần muối xoay quần pia nó cứ mặt nam tì muối nam tì pia nam tì bay là hỗ trợ nam tì phần mà để dương invest chỉ mỗi nè chả ok you want to talk more okay now say bao nhiêu Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. The purpose is not for those who have the background of financial. No, no, the purpose like... is for everyone. Okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, so sure, good sure. explanation. You have of to find. So you have explain first the keyword. For example, yes. bond. What is bond mean? Oh, okay. What is PV? Uh, what is a uh, uh, cash flow? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Explain right. step by step and then go to the formula. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, perhaps we're making some time. But you mentioned that we're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at it. We're trying to take a little look at what is born? No, no, okay. We don't have to start now with. Uh, no, seven, seven. Uh, explain the keyword. I, I, I explained it already before. A bond yeah. is a fixed income securities. That's we call it fixed income because mm -hmm. the income you receive for the coupon is fixed. You know it already beforehand. Mm -hmm. It's a contractual agreement that okay. when you buy a bond. Okay. For example, you get five a coupon of five. Okay. Mm -hmm because the interest rate on that bond is 5%. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, that is, then you know it for sure, okay? And that's what I was uh, explaining at the beginning. Yeah. Chà, bố nó bên đây thật tươi chỉ tập bạc đại dương ban chùm nánh, bố chỉ mối nó tập bạc đại dương. So it is the, 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 the total money that we got in, uh, include with our investment fund. Investment money, right? Yeah, investment, yes, in the yeah. in the in the in the security. Okay. Yeah. Mình ha. Tập bạc nó cứ mình sẽ bắt đầu phía mình đây thay dựng đại tớ cứ dựng ở bạc để lôi nó cứ dựng bàn mà với mình đây thay bố chỉ mối nâng lại đam này dựng bàn chùm nai được cả tình hồn nâng hay nâng cao bạc đại dương chỉnh đánh mà với chứ nâng kia hai thập bốn. Okay. Okay. Now, all right. So I was making um, am I on the picture or not? I mean, I need I need also can you wipe the whiteboard? We have. Um, you can, you can clean the whiteboard. You can clean. You oh, is clean. It, this one. Give me that the whiteboard, please. Um, so, all right. So we talk a little bit about these concepts mm -hmm. of how to discount cash flows, mm -hmm. and um, of course now I uh, uh, let's go back again. So I just clear this, and um, we make it now similar with a stock because now I said this is a bond, okay. and with a stock, as I said, uh, it's not so certain. Okay, so a stock. Or a company. Need a glass of water. Huh? Glass of water. Okay, you want to drink? Um, yes. Huh? <coughs> Talking so much, you're getting a bit of sore throat. Okay, so a stock 
is a right in a company okay so you have one share or a stock or one share is the same okay so you have a right to participate um, in the company in the company's um, ventures in the company's profit and success and um, so uh, maybe you receive a dividend if the company pays dividend maybe you can uh, attend the shareholders meeting if you want to and maybe you can vote um, on that company for example if they need uh, want to replace the board or something whatever it is any type of business okay so but now as i mentioned before nestle or procter and gambler so i mean um it's uh, quite simple to analyze and quantify stocks which have quite stable and predictable cash flows so as i say my intention was uh, when we started now this is to say that the valuation of a company is not so much different um, or, or the valuation of a stock is not so much different than the valuation of a bond or of a fixed income security mm -hmm. the only thing that is different is as I said before again is that all these cash flows they are not so certain okay, okay. so now let's uh, write the formula of how you can um, calculate or value uh, a company Okay, so we can also say the present value, PV is present value, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, of, a comp uh, of a stock or of a company is again the same as you take the cash flow which you're going to receive in the first period, maybe in, turn, in form of a dividend, okay, mm -hmm. and you uh, the discount it to the present date, that means you divide it by 1 plus R. Mm -hmm. And if you have it in the, uh, in the period 2, you take the cash flow number 2 yeah. and you divide, divide it by 1 plus R square. Okay, and you go the, the plus the, the cash flow three is uh, cash flow number three, which you have to estimate, and then you divide it by one plus r to the power of three. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it goes on and on until you have the cash flow n, mm -hmm. and you divide it by one plus r to the power n. Ah, it's really the same formula. So, anybody see something similar? <laughs> yeah. It's exactly the same. Okay. The, same. the principle is exactly the same. Yeah. Okay, bingo. <laughs> that, is, that is the beauty of finance, okay? Yeah. Because in the end, it all boils down to some fundamental laws. Mm -hmm. And what I said is cash flow, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't buy and hope. I mean, mm -hmm. you can if you want to. If you want to buy growth companies, that's up to you. <laughs> but if you want to make safe and sure investments, mm -hmm. Go for a company with sound, stable cash flows now, mm -hmm. sound and stable cash flows most likely in the future, mm -hmm. and maybe sound and stable cash flows forever. Yeah, That's the best you're going to have. How we okay. can know the, the, the You stable. never know. Yeah. Okay, if you, unless you have a crystal ball, which I don't, unfortunately don't, uh, you cannot predict the future. If you have a crystal ball, you look in the crystal ball and it tells you exactly what happens tomorrow, or in a year, and two, and three years' time. And uh, so that's what, but what we have so many analysts around the world. They work for investment banks, for banks, whatever. Yeah. And they do nothing else day in, day out than to compare, you know, and to analyze these companies, what they are doing. Uh, does it have an impact of this year's profit, next year's profit, year mm -hmm. after next profit, and so on. And again, can you see this formula now? Below? Yeah, Isn't I can there? see. I can see. So, um, and now, of course, is... The analysts, they try to predict this cash flow next year, okay, mm -hmm. or the profit next oh, year, predict, okay, yeah. predict, and, um, so it's will be, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they also try to predict this, which is a bit more difficult because it's farther away, mm -hmm. and they try to predict this, and, I mean, this right. is almost impossible to predict because it's so far away, mm -hmm. um, oh, but okay. maybe you can have a view on a company over the next one, two, three years, okay? And that is what the analysts try to do. They say, well, the profit is going to stay the same or it's going to go up, which is nice. It's even better if it goes up, okay, or it goes down, okay, and they try to predict, okay. So this is the, the principle of how to evaluate stocks. Now, later on, I'm going to we make just a small, small break. Maybe Lekina is going to talk. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and then... I'm going to talk about a certain ways of valuation. How do you value, uh, evaluate a company if it's cheap or if it's expensive? Oh, yeah. And evaluate not only this, yeah. I mean, let's assume that the company has profits, mm -hmm. okay? 
but but don't, don't don't say too long. Just the keyword. What yes. evaluation that you will do about the the next? No, later on is I do an evaluation if a company is expensive or if it's cheap. Okay. Expensive or cheap? Or cheap, yes. In terms but now is uh, now what I said before is you have to predict or the analysts they predict all the cash flows and you can calculate and you can bring this all to the present day of what is the future the value of all these future cash flows value how much value is that today ຈ້າຕົດຕຽມປີລົມຫົ້ອສັດປະໃນក្នុងក្រុមក្រុមຄົນ นักลงการเอ่อสมมุติว่าเปรียบเทียบโดยจากគ្នាนั่นจ้ะเตียโดยគ្នាปន្តែการตู้เตียរបស់អ្នកជំនាញគឺមានដូចណាទូទៀដោ
it's very much the same because you have um, uh, uh, an outlay okay I mean graphically speaking uh, is uh, you spend some money okay so this is this is today and this is uh, t plus n so and uh, you have a period one and period two and period three and so on and uh, today you're spending so much for this is your outlay to buying a new machine <laughs> and then you can say every year this new machine is making a small profit okay mm -hmm. so here this much this much this much this much and uh, and in the end you know you can uh, you can maybe sell the machine you have a terminal value of the machine and you have the final cash flow so that is the n okay so you see this is pretty similar what we have up there okay so we have every year you have a small profit from buying the machine or and, and investing in the project and then and then you have a terminal thing and then you can see if all these future cash flows okay present value to today if they are bigger so um this is pv and this is all these future cash flows okay cash flows discounted if they are equal or if this is bigger equal or bigger than the present value what I'm paying today, mm -hmm. then the project is making a, a profit. And that means it means it makes sense to invest in that project oh, or yeah. to buy this machine. And this is similar. Okay. And now when you look and when you ask chief financial officers of many companies, you say, okay, you want to invest in a new project. How much payback period do you expect? The payback means, okay, how many years profit will pay back your initial investment? Okay. And many would say, well, maybe 20 years okay if i invest now and i have my money back in quicker than 20 years sometimes even 10 years but maybe 10 years is a bit ambitious but maybe let's say 20 years okay then uh, i'm quite happy with it okay and so this is this is a rule of thumb there is no um, science about this okay it depends on the industry pharma meets maybe much more longer time because you need to time to invest and to, to, to find the formula of a new medication and yeah, then, then you have to register it with the authorities and so on. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, it's each industry is different, okay? Some industries want the quick buck, maybe computer industry because technology is very quick because it might be obsolete uh, uh, tomorrow what is now uh, very hot today or very current and, and, and actual and, and the state of the art today might absolutely be obsolete tomorrow. So uh, you never know. So um, uh, uh, so uh, maybe computer industry needs bigger, quicker paybacks, and some other traditional industries can have uh, can slower paybacks. To, okay, to and um, so uh, uh, I was just trying to talk now about this um, uh, the the payback period or the payback because now what I'm talking now is with this expectation of payback period. That has something to do late, later to on what here. I'm talking now. Okay, now you want to translate in the meantime what I said. No, because okay, I go inside the room so I can okay. understand all of what no, you No, no, it's okay. So I was talking about your um, the payback period, okay, of an investment. Mm -hmm. And again, the payback period of an investment, as you have seen before, or as you see from the formula here, okay, formula here, um, is the payback of a project is pretty similar like you know the, uh, the present value of a bond or the present value of a stock it's the same because you have to put on a balanced okay you have to estimate the future cash flows or the future projects of a, of a project and you have to evaluate what it costs today okay so you have to put it on a balance and to find out if this investment makes sense or not okay now let's assume you are a financial chief financial officer of a company and you say, I am happy with payback periods of 20 years or less. So when you invest in a dollar today and you get it back, the entire dollar in 20 years, uh, then you say, actually, I'm happy with it. OK, so that's fine. So then uh, we can see now what is uh, uh, the, the criteria when you analyze companies. So what we have stated before, this was just the financial mathematics, which we have shown you before. Now what I'm going to talk about is some valuation methods, okay? So when you have uh, you on the internet, for example, Yahoo Finance or other stuff, okay, you can see uh, the different parameters, you can look at it. Okay, so you continue what I translate, what I have said. But I don't understand. Because no, I just say, because I have to fetch my... Uh, huh? Yeah. 
ອ້າຈ້າສາມາຄິມກໍຕຍົນແລັບທັບຈາປະມິດຄິມມາເຊີຍຢູ່ໄດ້ປູ່ຄິມຈູ່ປະຕົບຕາເວີກໍຄິມ
year two I'm earning more, mm -hmm. and year three I'm even earning no more, and year four I'm earning again more, mm -hmm. and year n I'm earning so much more. Then if you discount all this, of course, it means you know the present value of all these future cash flows is going to be much bigger ah, today. Okay. 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 You point, you point your hand to the blue color. Okay. Nein, 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 to the blue, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you say, 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 I said, if you want to have finance a project, you have chief financial officer of a company mm -hmm. and you make the investment decision. Should I buy this new machine? Because the new machine will generate a product or make it easier to produce something and I will save every year so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or well, this is my profit. If I save money, it's equal to my profit on that machine. So then it was the same. And now if all of a sudden you can make more money from that machine each year, okay? Ah. So this this green bank mm -hmm. show that the future cash flows are going to be bigger yeah. than I calculated. Yeah, but I mm have -hmm. to say that the government has been doing this for a long time, and the government has been doing this for a long time, and the government has been doing this for a long time, and the government has been doing this for a long time, and the government has been doing this for a long time, and the government has been doing this for yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so if in this case uh, PV is is uh, is greater greater than right because this case is yeah, yeah. yeah right. I uh, know in that case I mean the present value is smaller than the future cash flows because this is when you have a project to invest. Mm. So if you have to pay less now, then you're gonna receive later on. Yeah, so. but in case of the green color, what is the value of the PV? The, the PV goes up, okay. Yeah, goes the PV up, so goes up, so it means the stock is going to be more valuable. Ah, yeah. If it goes on the up stock exchange, the stock goes up. Just one person, ba um, uh, chậm nổi. Đại kê ở rộng ba nó không không hôn nó việc can bị mà chín năm tới mà chín năm bữa giờ dễ chậm tới tầm lại stock nó cứ việc can này. Bản tai vì tệ to chỉ muốn tầm lại PV, chả PV nó việc can tam nó đái. Anh nó bật ở xoay kim ổ tì ho phèm chậm. Bản tai à tầm lại à ở chả um quạt xây bịch bỏ kiếm nó cứ sợ ổ tì ho không hôn môi chả. Còn dương chả miên là chef ở phần dương nó cứ chưa um bật thiên phần này ở đây bật thổ CFO chả. Chúng dương thử thưa ca kẹt ở nơi ông bị tùm hôm này ca chấm nánh và tôi bị dương xâm ra chất thả ở cổng hôn nông tinh ổ bà cầu ấy môi chồn Chà, đức bà tinh mà sân ấy môi chồn đó cứ ai mà sân ấy hồi lôi ấy cổng hôn bàn can riêng rõ chân nám Mình đây thang mà sân nóng hồi cho nghĩ thế chạy Ca invest chỉ môi mà sân nóng cứ bị chấm nánh Đôi dương invest chỉ môi stock đại dương tinh hôn nâng dương bà sân chia chấm nó đó bà cổng hôn nóng can riêng rõ chân nám Mình đây thang ca invest bà dương cứ trông trời gầy you stopped or you're still on? No, still on. Okay, good. Now let's do something completely different. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so I'm. Oh, you are there. Okay, so you put the, you switch the screen. So I'm here. Okay. Hello, I'm back again. Okay. Yeah. So, so now this was just a little bit of fundamentals. Okay, how you can calculate or value a security. Now what I'm saying is, once you know the value of a security. You don't know yet, is it cheap or is it expensive, okay? So you can compare it to uh, securities or stocks in a similar industry in, in, in different countries and so on. You can say, for example, let's assume you have a pharmaceutical company, okay, like Johnson Johnson. Johnson Johnson does a lot of pharmaceuticals, also does other things like personal health care and so on, you know, mouthwash and uh, uh, toothbrush and, uh, and uh, uh, toothpaste and whatever and... Uh, and uh, shampoo and so on. They do a few things also which they sell with get a lot of success. Um, but in general one could say Johnson Johnson is a pharmaceutical company. And um, <clears throat> so if you have a company that is valued at X or Y, um, you don't know is it now cheap or is it expensive. You have to compare it to similar companies in the same industry. Now what I do is here make a little bit of um, uh, 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 I like a little bit of publicity for, you know, Yahoo, okay? Yeah. Yahoo Finance, yeah. okay? And I, I say, I search for a stock and I say Johnson & Johnson. You yeah. can say J&J, &J. it's Johnson & Johnson, okay. listed in New York. Oh, okay. And it brings me here, you see, it's yeah. Johnson & Johnson. Johnson. Can you see it? 
you see Johnson & Johnson, you see it, the price is now $167.17 um, on the stock exchange in New York. This is the Johnson & Johnson company, you can use any other one. Now what's the interesting thing is Yahoo Finance, and I make a little bit of publicity for this one. It's, first of all, it does not cost you anything, okay? It's a fantastic website, has a lot of information. You can uh, build up your own portfolios on that, on that internet page and you can look at your stocks or your portfolio every day and that even for free. And you have charts and you have everything. You have a lot of very good information. Okay, I'm showing it now to you, mm -hmm. okay? So, um, what do we have? We have first, we have uh, different categories, okay? The first is you have the summary. Then you have charts, you have conversations, you have statistics about this company, you have historical data, you have profile, financials, analysis, options, holders, sustainability. So we have a lot of different criteria what you can look at that company. What I also like is to look at is, for example, I say, and I look at this company and I say, what is my maximum chart that goes back? Now we are, now we are in the year 2021 and this uh, chart goes back to January 1st, uh, 1985. So uh, that's uh, 36 years of history, okay? And that even for free. That's great, okay? Because it tells you a lot of information. So when, how much uh, was the company worth 20 years ago in 2001? Maybe that was here, okay? So uh, let's say now we are, uh, we have December. Okay, say uh, January 02, okay? We soon, in, in a few days is New Year and January 2022. So 20 years ago, the stock was $64. Now it's 167, almost up three times, okay? And if you go back more, because the company went up, you know, in those years between in the, in the, in the 90s, it went up a lot. In 94, it was worth, I do not know how much. You can, can go, you always have a price. Um, does it tell me? No, it does not tell me. No, it says $12 or $13 in 94. And in 99, five years later, it was $46. So it went up almost four times in the late 90s. So Johnson Johnson had better years in the 1990s than now lately, but it's okay. So it's a, it's a good uh, stock that pays you a dividend. Now you can look at the dividend. Every year you receive a dividend. Now it's two and a, two and a, four and a quarter dollars, which is about 2.5% dividend yield, okay? So um, uh, this is important. When you say this company Johnson Johnson pays me a dividend yield of two and a half percent. Then you put that in relation to, for example, what does a bond or a, a, a bond of the US Treasury or US corporate bond give me as a yield? So if the US Treasury five-year bond gives you uh, 2%, then actually Johnson Johnson gives you more yield than the US Treasury five-year bond, okay? Because US Treasury five-year bond gives you 2% coupon every year and that for five years and then it's done, okay? And Johnson Johnson gives you two and a half. And let's assume, of course, all the state so, okay. that things continue the same will give you two and a half percent yield with the dividend every year. And let's hope, you know, that goes on forever or even better. Let's hope the dividend goes up, then your dividend yield also goes up. Okay. So we can't translate. No, I cannot translate. I don't you understand know. too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you have to explain yeah. a little bit what I said. Yeah, it's not just like what I said, but I'm going to Yahoo Finance. Yeah, Yahoo. I'm going to talk about the long PM. Uh, Yahoo Finance, right? Yes, About you can Google Johnson, it up. Yeah, Johnson, Johnson. Well, Johnson, 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 Johnson was just an example, yeah. okay? Johnson, Johnson was just an example. You can use also, you can look at another stock. You can even look at Tesla if you like to. But, you know, the problem with Tesla was that for a long, 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 long time, Tesla did not make any profit at all, was yeah. losing money all the time. So maybe that's not such a good example to value stocks. The easiest, as I said before, is you look at companies that make Profits every year, like Johnson Johnson, like Nestle, like mm -hmm. Procter Gamble, and so yeah. okay. So you show the moment it's Johnson Johnson Company. This is Johnson Johnson. Okay, yeah. can you use another? Can I also take another one? It's okay. Yeah, got mm -hmm. Yeah, got 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 Yeah
thật kim vô bán phải chỉ một sam rồi nó phải để còn dễ bị đam nó được cái tay chân nâng phong chứ là phải kim bỏ phải rồi tập ban tay tiệt cha và trên đấy ở khi nhom nâng hiện bị cót nhà hát kim thua vì tàu miền ở animation miền ấy phải châu lắm nhà nằm đây nhưng bị rút phim statistic đại dương bằng hai những nông graphic nắng có đôi chia cha cha po làm miền nó lơ khi cha vay bón này phải mà cha po miền đó nó sầm khá lắm ao dương chơi phía cha riêng bị phía ông pi final cash flow lùm hô tập bạc trả lùm hô tập bạc để mình tùm rung phí lại ở phía độ biếp cứ tìm mũi cứ fix income bốn is fix income right yes yeah cứ fix fix income mấy hai dưới ban phần nát ban phần năng là hột fix income it's mean that the benefit that we can get every year the same yeah yeah but the bond is always the same yeah mình đã thay bởi dưới ban phạm phía rối cứ phạm phía rối là hột nha riêng rối chân nằm đang hạ thả bốn mình ta stock tụ ẩn đăng ngay dưới thử bởi định how about stock it is a change it for every year right all right, uh, that's you don't know, okay? Yeah. With a stock, as I said, unless you have a crystal ball, I can recommend you just buy <laughs> yourself a crystal ball. Then you know everything about the future, okay? Mm -hmm. You know about the stock market tomorrow. You know about your personal future uh, success. Do you find your partner in lifetime partner? Yes or no? So the crystal ball is something very useful, okay? <laughs> but you only have to find it, okay? So, all right, joke aside. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, of course, with stocks, you never know. It depends on the future and it depends on many other things. And the future, nobody can predict so easily, okay? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people try to, but they never really manage, yeah. okay? So, so wait, that's why making them the content, uh, what you know, you feel ແລະກໍຕິ້ງຫຸ້ນນັ້ນໄດ້ຮອບຊ្នាំມາກໍເຖີການຕະນີກຽຈ້າໃຫ້ກໍຕິ້ງຫຸ້ນໃດໄດ
Okay, stock market life codes, do you see? And then here you have a field up here, okay, where you can enter Johnson Johnson. You can either okay. say the ticker or Johnson, okay. And there are a few other companies which are called Johnson, Johnson Controls and so on. But here we have Johnson & Johnson, which is J&J, &J, is listed on New York Stock Exchange. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so as I said before, this is the Johnson & Johnson stock. It's $167 now. Okay, it's $1 less than it was the day before. Here can you have a look at the maximum. And now we can look at different things. Okay, what is really interesting is what is below here. So, you have to hold it, not to okay, shake, so okay. I have to hold it now and not shake. Okay, so <laughs> first of all, it says previous close. What was it the day before? It was $168.23. It opened today at $167.81. And then uh, it, uh, it's a bid and the ask and so on. And the day range, it was trading between $166.5 and, and $168.32. Dollars and so on and so on. And then tells you also what has been the range in the last 52 weeks between 150 and close to $180. Then is the volume, we know 1.2 um, million stocks and so on. And the average volume uh, is, uh, you know, is, is uh, seven and a half a million in a day. So, of course, now this is the store. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, New York, uh, I think it's open just now. So, uh, it's the volume is still low and the, the day in New York is not finished yet. Now, what we have here, the other figure is here, we have a market capitalization. This company is a market, has a market capitalization of $440 billion. That's the value of that company as it's valued by the stock exchange today. What you can do is if you need to calculate the number of stocks, is you take this figure, one four hundred forty billion, and you divide it by this whatever. What is the price now? As we see, one hundred sixty-seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you see the number of stocks. Sometimes that's important okay. to know. But of course, you can. Uh, it's. I'm sure it's somewhere in the statistics also. I mean, we can say now 440.24440. Okay, clear. 440.25x9, enter 167. So, Johnson & Johnson, as, as my HP says, okay, I has calculated right now, it has 2. Um, Six billion stocks outstanding. Yes. Two point six billion stocks. Two point six billion stocks. Um, yeah, that's about logical. Okay. Uh, if you have the two point six billion, you multiply one hundred seventy, you come close to this four hundred forty billion. Mm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> now, um, you know the number of stocks does not really matter so much because mm -hmm. if a stock company issues more stock and the value of the company has to remain the same, then the, of course the, the, the value of the stock will go down. Okay? I mean, that's kind of logical. Yeah, okay, so okay. we will stop now, um, okay? No, 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 I'm not, let, let's just continue because now I'm in the middle of the thing, okay? Now it's getting really interesting. Let's continue with this session okay. very quick because, I mean, I, I, if you have to have your dinner or so, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm going to hurry up. I'm just going to speak fast and then you understand more. Okay, so then you have a few other things. And what is what I want to talk to uh, now is the earnings per share and the price earnings ratio. Okay, so these are the two things you need to know. Okay, and now let's let's um, let's clear the whiteboard here okay, quickly and I talk about earnings per share and price earnings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty? Yeah. Now we have all new here. Okay, I can continue. Now, when you want to analyze a company, okay, you need you need two things. You need the balance sheet. Yeah. ไม่นั่นคือตนนัยเตะตนตนนั้นการวิเคราะห์ <laughs> Okay, income statement. And so these two things, they will be released every three months. Okay. Oh, yeah. The company has to present its figures. Oh, yeah. 
to by its law of the stock exchange every three months they have to report the figures. ຈະຮຽງຮອດບາຍຄາຍກໍມົນນັ້ນໃຫ້ພໍລະມີຍຶງແຕ່ຕົງບາລານຊີດ <coughs> Three years or three months? No, three months. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, No, yeah, pay by Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, what it is is um, uh, you have the um, the earnings per share. So many. Uh, so this is released quarterly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Release court. ໄດ້ຊິພໍຕະລີອໍຣີລີສວັດຄວາເທີອາໂອເຄຈ້າຈານຈັ່ງພໍລະມີນັ້ນນັ້ນໃຫ້ບັນຫາໃຫ້
of uh, Johnson & Johnson is the same number, okay, surprise, surprise, 24 by 99, it's just loud, let's say it's 25. And that also tells you already something. It says it takes 25 years of earnings to pay for this stock, mm -hmm. okay? And now do you remember what I said before, when we had, for example, this analysis of a project, mm -hmm. if a project is viable, you are the chief financial officer, you want to make a, a decision, decision, and you say, I buy this machine, if I had my payback period is 20 years or less. Mm -hmm. So if I have my money back in less than 20 years or in 20 years, I'm happy with it, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you buy uh, Johnson Johnson today, and we assume everything stays the same, okay? The profit's gonna stay the same, everything stays the same, the dividend stays the same, and so on. You will have the, 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 the company is gonna be, uh, or, or your investment is gonna be paid back in 25 years, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, okay? Which is quite okay. It's, it's not really cheap, but it's quite okay. It's reasonable, okay? Mm -hmm. So you invest in a project where you will have your money back in 25 years. Maybe a chief financial officer would still say, this is good. Now, as I said, this is assuming that everything stays the same. But how if things get better? As we had before, when I used to, the green color, okay? If the earnings go up all of a sudden, or they go up every year, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you will have your money pay back much earlier, okay? So uh, then uh, actually, you know, your, 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 your payback period gets shorter, okay? And the price earning of, of 25, would actually become then lower, it would become 23 or 20 or whatever, or 15. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the beauty of it. <coughs> but this, um, this price earnings ratio is one ratio which allows you to compare one stock versus the other if that one is cheap or not. Now let me do an example. We have another thing which is also important and we have um, we have, you know, like, yeah, you can also take price cash flows ratio, you can take um, uh, earnings and growth ratio and so on. Um, what is the difference between cash flow and earnings? It's um, the small difference because it's the depreciation, okay? <laughs> um, but let's not talk about depreciation, that's very technical mm, issue, okay. but um, about this. Now let me take another example, okay? Because I know Lekina wants to finish now, and maybe you also are tired, yeah. want to have dinner or want to go uh, to bed. Dinner is a Or you have already, or you had your dinner already. So, um, excuse me, um, I was just want to compare now Johnson & Johnson, which we looked at now, I want to compare it to Pfizer, okay? Mm -hmm. Pfizer company, you know, is also a pharmaceutical company, also an American company, mm -hmm. also listed on New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. It was famous, you know, for a famous blue pill, erectile dysfunction pill, was a blockbuster, gave them a lot of revenues of great mm -hmm. patent ran out long time ago. And of course, Pfizer is also famous for producing, what is it, uh, the BioNTech uh, mm -hmm. vaccine against COVID. Yeah. So BioNTech is a small German BioNTech, biotech company that invented the vaccine, okay? And Pfizer has just the whole machines, everything, production facilities to produce that vaccine in a very, very large number because it's a few million doses they have produced every day because they need a few billion doses every year mm -hmm. to, to vaccine the people on this earth, on this planet. So um, uh, for Pfizer, very good business. And that's also the reason why the Pfizer stock went up so much the last two years. Mm -hmm. um, so now let's compare. Is Pfizer the better buy than Johnson Johnson? That is the interesting ah, thing. Okay. Because before we said, how do you value stocks? Mm -hmm. And now say, once you have value to stock, you have to find out, is it cheap or is it expensive? Okay. Do I rather buy Pfizer or Johnson yeah. Johnson? Johnson? That is still the question. Okay. okay. Now yeah. let's have a look. Okay. So I'm going to look at the page and I'm going to look at the Johnson Johnson. You can look at the price per earn, right? Mm -hmm. 24 uh, 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 Pfizer, Pfizer, but don't have that. Okay, you can go. So now, um, 
I don't know. Yeah, you are on that. Okay. Yeah. So now we have. I, I do it, the same. We had to omit some. We had to clear. <coughs> no, no. I just work. write underneath. Okay, it's not so much now. You 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 tilted a bit. Um, yeah. Now I'm taking the particulars of Pfizer. Okay. Now we're talking of Pfizer. Pfizer. <laughs> and <coughs> I'm doing not all the calculation. How many number of stocks and so on. You can uh, take it up, call it up on your uh, Yahoo um, finance uh, bar. Okay, I've called it up already. Mm -hmm. uh, Pfizer, the ticker is PFE, Pfizer. Okay, and um, Pfizer today is $60.19. Okay, it is up $0.71 today. Yeah, Pfizer. Um, now let's look here. This is just the chart of today, mandated maximum. Mm -hmm. That is since 1984, as we said, mm -hmm. we have 35 year history on that, or 36 year history, 37 year even history on that stock. And you see, it's also, um, it went up for a while, then it went down again, now it's going up. The last two years or so, let's just say the last year, it went up the last five years. So it has been actually since COVID broke out, mm -hmm. Pfizer has been very good because, as I said, they are teaming up with this, uh, this um, BioNTech company to produce the vaccine against COVID. And there's going to be, as we all know, more and more you need already the booster and you need every year, you need maybe two, every six months you need a new vaccine, maybe even every four months. So this is very good business for them. All right, now let's look at the particulars. As you saw to, before, we have um, uh, with Pfizer, we have the PE ratio of 17.19 okay so um, the PE ratio is 17.19 PE ratio price earnings ratio so that's actually even better because Pfizer this means when you invest in Pfizer and everything remains the same you have your money back via the earnings uh, cash flow in 17.2 uh, years. <coughs> that makes it more attractive. That means you have your money back almost eight years quicker than with Johnson & Johnson. Okay. What I forgot to say is also the dividend yield. This has more to do something um, about if the company is paying out all their profits, yes or no, or only part of it. Um, the dividend yield of uh, <coughs> Pfizer is is a uh, um, 2.69. So um, what they do is uh, 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 let me see. The Pfizer is now 60.19 dollars. Okay, 60.19 dollars. Can you still see it? You get a dividend of every year of uh, altogether 1.6. Dividend is one point six dollars dividend, dividend, and if you take that the dividend and you divide it by the price you bought by the today, you get the dividend yield. So let's take my calculator quick, but maybe it's written here. I just want to verify it. So I say I take one point six. One point six. Okay, one point six and sixty point one nine divide. Is two point six five six two point six six percent. Okay, and that is exactly what is written here on the Yahoo. Mm -hmm. uh, Yahoo says or two point six nine percent. It's almost the same. And with um, Johnson Johnson, what do they have a dividend yield? I can flip back on the other um, screen. And uh, his uh, 2.52 is Johnson Johnson. Dividend yield. Johnson Johnson. Yield is 2.52%. So let's say 2.52 and 2.66 is almost the same. No almost big the difference same. there. But as you have found out, the, um, let me take another color here. Um, uh, dividend yield is almost the same, you agree, 2.5 or 2.6, not much difference. But the price earnings ratio for Johnson is 
25 times, okay, or you need 25 years until your investment is paid back by your earnings, versus Pfizer, you only need 17 years until your earnings are paid back by oh, the earnings. Okay. So eight years quicker. So in that case, the mm -hmm. answer is clear. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Yeah, what would okay. you buy? Yeah. You buy Pfizer. the Pfizer. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Bingo. Bingo. Pfizer. Pfizer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. 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 And okay, that is now only the analysis how the situation is today. Mm -hmm. Of course, that uh, is only one way of to look at it. It's one way of the optics to look at it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the different can, point of view is different point of view is um, we flip again. So it's only one way to look at it. Okay. So what is also important, and a lot of analysts do, and also a lot of investors do, they look into the future mm -hmm. and they try to figure out. Okay. Uh, what is the situation of this company in the future? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, what is their pipeline? How good will their sales be? And so on. Will it be going to be more successful than the other company? And so on. And the picture could look completely different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but as I said, with when you look into the future and to try to analyze growth and other factors then a lot of imponderabilia, a lot of things you cannot really clearly predict <laughs> come into play. Yeah. ຈັ່ງກໍມາປະຍົນສໍາລັບມານັ້ນຄືມີໃນຖ້າລະບຽບໃນໂຄງການວິພຽກຖ້າຕາຍຍັງມົດໃນຍັງສໍາລັບຈ
Yeah, of course, usually a bank can help. Yeah, but a bank can the help. Thing, but you always have to ask yourself, okay, mm -hmm. uh, do they have a conflict of interest? Do they have, do they want you, do they want to recommend you their own product or whatever? Mm -hmm. So try to be a bit suspicious, okay, if they recommend you something, okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that they want to sell you bad things, but um, maybe their interests are not aligned in the same way as yours are, okay. So if a bank says, well, <laughs> you should not buy this stock, you should not buy a stock, or you should buy our own stock, then um, you should become, uh, you know, uh, a bit suspicious. Um, the thing is, um, you cannot really rely on completely neutral advice with the banks, okay? Mm -hmm. But, cannot... I mean, they do not, sometimes do not really have truly neutral uh, advice. Mm -hmm. what, so, what is neutral advice? Neutral. I mean, I mean uh, if... If uh, if they don't have an interest, okay. If they say I I don't uh, derive any profit from this from this advice, um, then they can be neutral, okay. But if a bank says you should buy this product or that product, which is a known product, they try to push, then of course you're not so sure uh, if that is truly the case or also in your interest, okay. But as in general, okay, I don't want to badmouth all the bankers. I mean. Uh, uh, some of them are quite good and hottest, not all of them, okay, and uh, so, uh, uh, or you have more than one bank, or then you have uh, another bank who gives you another advice, and then you can also see and you can find out and evaluate So you mean that we cannot, we cannot also get uh, advice from the bank for decision? It right? does not always mean, I don't want to say in general, okay, but I mean, uh, uh, it's better also to listen more than one banker, ah. okay, maybe then you are just confused on a higher level, mm -hmm. but um, the thing is what they so, so will tell you is okay, uh, they will tell you different things. But what I was talking now is only how do you value a security or a stock? That was the first thing I tried mm. to explain today. Mm -hmm. The second thing is once you have found the valuation for your stock, okay, you have to compare it to another one. And then you have to make the decision, is it now better to buy Johnson or Johnson or Pfizer? Mm -hmm. As we have found out today, Pfizer is more interesting than Johnson Johnson right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it's also, uh, 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 this is only now the, 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 on the very micro level, okay? How do you prefer stock number one to stock number two, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the other thing is how to build up a stock portfolio. Uh, this is a completely other different lecture I'm going to talk about <laughs> because this depends a lot of diversification, correlations, and so on, that you can build a portfolio there you have relatively little risk, uh, but this is a completely different story. I'm glad in telling you about this. It's also a bit of mathematics involved. I gladly uh, talk to you uh, about this at another occasion. Uh, I think we had enough for today because everybody has a uh, head as big right. like this, smoking head already, <laughs> uh, because I talked so much and so many formula so and so much okay. mathematics. But okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Also, I did. I learned something from it. <laughs> and uh, try go and uh, surf on the Yahoo Finance. Uh, go and look for some stocks you're interested in. Mm -hmm. Look at these different parameters like earnings per share, price earnings ratio, mm -hmm. pi price sales ratio, price book ratio, and so on. I have not talked about all these different other things, uh, price book ratio or earnings growth ratio. Mm -hmm. uh, I can talk on another session on those. Um, but the, in the end, it all boils down to about three different ratios you have to look at, okay? The price earnings ratio is certainly the most important <laughs> one. Then you have others. Uh, what is also important, you look at the balance sheet and you look if a company has a lot of debt, yes or no. Mm -hmm. Because if a company has a lot of debt, that means the company is not so safe, okay? It needs only a little bit of bad weather and the company might already get into difficulties. If the company is financed by itself, by its own equity, then it's much, much better, uh, much sounder, much more stable. And um, <clears throat> then, of course, it's the margins, okay? You have to look at margin, for example, the profit margin, okay? That's the profitability of a company, okay? Yeah. And that might vary again from sector to sector, but you have some companies which are more profitable than another one, okay? That means they, they, they with the same amount of money or, or efforts or resources, they can make more profit than another one. It's the same if you look at the shop on the street. One, uh, one who sells uh, durian, okay, in one street is selling more durians and 
and has less people employed than the other one, the other shop on the, on, the, on the same street next to it, which has more people employed and sells yeah. less durians. So <laughs> obviously the one that sells more durians with less people is more profitable than the other one. Okay, so you can make these comparisons of uh, the, the, pro the profitability of different corporations. Now, Bitcoin is a completely different thing, okay? okay. Uh, I think we rather talk about this on another occasion because yeah, Bitcoin, okay. in my view, has nothing to do with the stock market or so in general, yeah. okay? Okay, okay. 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 ពួកផ្សេងទៀតដែលយើងធ្វើការប្រៀបធៀបគ្នាអញ្ចឹងឯងដូចជាកន្លែងលក់ផ្លែទ្រែនយូលៃអីដីនធីធីនឌូរៀ
nobody puts all eggs in one basket, okay? <laughs> so um, uh, when you uh, 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 buy different stocks, then of course, it's all another different thing to, to see and to evaluate. It's uh, about, um, okay, uh, how can I get the risk of my portfolio lower than it is now? by buying different stocks from different sectors and so on. Um, I will talk to you about this on another occasion. Mm -hmm. But right now, I just wanted to tell you, okay, how do you value a stock? Mm -hmm. And of course, the Yahoo Finance helping you with this, giving this already these numbers. And then say, how can you compare if one stock is cheaper or better than the other one? Again, as I said, all things being other things being equal. Um, it depends very much on your own expectation of that company, how that company will develop in the future. It depends also on the analysts or the, in general the investment community's opinion on that particular stock. Because for a long time nobody was really talking of Tesla, okay? Tesla was out of favor for a very, very long time and then whoop, the stock exploded, goes up three, four, tenfold in a year, okay? So it's a completely different thing and now probably everybody says Tesla is probably the best electric car in the world. Maybe it's going to be overtaken by some others, you know, because uh, uh, Audi and Fiat and, uh, and Peugeot Citroën and others, they are making a lot of efforts in BMW and Mercedes uh, to, to build also good cars, Toyota as well, Honda, um, to build very good and uh, uh, very efficient electric cars. So it's not a given that the, 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 the monopoly or the situation where Tesla is now in will last forever, okay? There is competition and that changes the picture every day. Uh, Tesla is just right now good at building the cars, is quite good with building the batteries, and is quite good with this autonomous driving. Okay. But of course that can change. And of course I was making now a bit of an excursion into electric cars, it can be another industry, it can be pharmaceuticals, it can be computers, it can be technology. Um, things change every day, okay? There's always somebody has a better idea than yours or has a better product than yours, and then your product might become obsolete. So mm -hmm. it's quite difficult, especially if you have single product companies or pharmaceutical companies that have only one blockbuster drug. If that is gonna be replaced by another one, then you're in trouble. So uh, as I said, uh, there's a lot of other factors to consider if investing in that company is good and safe. But this is another uh, session or lecture we're going to talk about. Okay. okay. Yes, Alright. Uh, so, 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 don't yeah, I mean, I, as I said, I can put my model portfolio on your web page. Yeah. You can consult your yeah, web page. Uh, yeah, the game of card website, Moy, yeah, pretty much at your own website and could mean that chat and let them let them go to your own page. I come home about your game time, don't you mean the tech and so the web rock website? I come in, but don't happen that you want one point for me and some kind of run, jumping for some racket from a dog, get your own website and pretty much I am. Yeah, I to look at what chat and let free them a dog and pick up on card portfolio. Minute happy that you mean portfolio. I think stock ban chọn hôn vì bố thay dương anh dương lưu bao dương tự tin nhờ stock ta mà mà cả lại để dương việc viên miền hàn thì pay có thằng thật tự nhiệm ban cho đó nhưng chẳng đảm bảo tin cho đảm bảo được rồi dương chạy biên portfolio được nên cái biên portfolio này cứ ở miền cả cực phải thế cứ chạy đồng lệ đòi sẽ lấy được nông website được bao dương nhóc hai cô nó bắt nhưng mà chúng mình sẽ làm mấy cái cái thằng kim lộc hẹp so mấy kim thanh để sọc má cứ miền cái tin hôn tam kia tập đoàn kim phạm còn còn đấy còn thằng ape kẹt đại thuần chẳng nghe cha cứ thở che được luôn ấy người thở bị phe được luôn ấy được mới có từ từ chua sẹo bạc cam nó không tình nghĩa kia còn còn đấy bên chua sẹo bạc cam nó tình nghĩa kia từ bờ giặt tiền bị bố tình nghĩa kia khác lụa hôn này cha lụa stock đấy nhưng cứ miền bay ở cái hàng conflict interest cha nên hàng conflict interest bên đây thằng cứ cái miền đồng yên thằng cứ cái tiền cái ao châu được nông ca tình hôn được bảo tình nghĩa kia tại mặt đồng chắc mình trai trang chạm bách được nông ca ở ai rồi phò làm miền bị tình nghĩa kia pi cái lại nằm bên kia kia tận ở đấy rồi chỉ mỗi kia tại mặt đồng hai um เอ่อสําหรับจ้าการธุรกิจนี้นั้นเปรียบมันอาจรอบอมยังหลุดอ้ายตามอินเทอร์เน็ตจ้าក្រុមហ៊ុនជាច្រើនធុរកិច្ច
ở bên đại tôn đó cứ nông cạn này mỗi đại mình mình cạn này ở bờ rìu bờ hao giờ bờ sân chỉ tinh hốt cứ chụp bạc luôn ai là đừng ai mang chỉ mình màu vinh tôi ở lại đôi tia ho em làm nếu mình mang chỉ ca chọn mình che ở ô tin bên mình tinh hôn tam té cha ai kiếm quạt bạc thả ra mấy kiếm tinh ai khả năng quạt thả rồi về để quạt tinh cứ quạt chậm nay là hốt cha chậm nay là hốt chạy thì hôn là hốt đỏ bom ôn quạt bao màn này cha mà đại quạt cổ miên phi hôn nông nông ca tinh hôn nông đại chân nông ca chậm nay nãy bị bùn đi sai cả quạt rồi thằng này cứ xong mấy kiếm chỉ nẹt cha cái hà thà rẻ xa đang thì làm một thợ được bao màn này bao quạt đại quạt miên vây chỉ để hái chẳng lôi nông nông cha từ ngày kia nó cứ xong mấy kiếm nẹt cám được chứ nét quạt mình mình chỉ nẹt càng hay tập tua lại cứ về hai con chỉ nẹt căn ở thai đại sa chẳng còn miền chủng nhĩ vì nông tình hình kia sắp đặt nông ca in la chỉ miền đây thay thua ai từ hôm tập đoạn nông miền chả ăn càng tập tiếp còn bàn giờ tập đoạn tập tình hồn cha đặt về tình hồn chỉ nén các quạt trái kia nông nông cầm nông nông bò phôi quạt bốn mẹ nông bà đại quạt nông cự man tập đoạn này cả chỉ nén hồn rồi bỏ quạt chỉ nén cha để cho nên hai ông sau mấy kiếm quật quật ở đây tình hôn ở cầm rõ kha ta vì miền này miền phía tây trả đời sai đây quật bàn bị phía trả ẩn ẩn chun bầy mật bàn sẽ đảm trong tay con tha bầy bị phía nâng cực khi nhau mà lấy từ từ chuột côn từ mưa côn chúng ta có bị bạt bò ở miền trong nhau mau với những sao bao sơ dừa đài trả còn tay mình chậm não thì khi mình thôi bị tổn lao với trả khi nhau mình dậy này ai với hai bị tổn nó cứ miền ở miền phù phiệp miền tận tận đấy bị châu bật hai tiết làm mấy bầy mật đạp tới nghe dừa chiếm hai bàn từ từ tôi chậm này đang làm episode one this is the first episode ok còn là thay con trả khi nhau đặt trả khi nhau đặt ẩm thì nó bọn nó cứ thay cái hàng thang vẹt tí mùi chả vẹt tí mùi nó bởi mất nó cái miền vẹt chỉ trả ăn tiệt hai cái đôi chuyện bitcoin này chả bitcoin ở miền bởi mất xua đấy chẳng khi nhung nó xong mấy khi nhung nó dễ nó thằng thằng ngày cái đòi xong rồi ông pi chả ông pi bitcoin ô con trả ăn chả cái đấy phải đầm viên đầm lái xe tôi sẽ không hiểu tôi sẽ thank you ok hai khi nhung dễ hiểu nhau tiếc cái sao nó mong thương hút chả tập tập alright thank you was very nice talking to you i hope you learned something from it i did and See you soon, okay? Yeah. Lekina will tell you when we meet next time. Yeah. And have a nice evening. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll continue to be a bit of a bit of a bit. Bye-bye.